Islamic preacher's hilarious new fatwa pisses off football fans. Oh boy. As Egyptians continued to follow the 2022 World Cup in Qatar, an Egyptian Salafi leader, uh, Yunus uh, Mahyoun, released a new fatwa or religious edict declaring that football is a, quote, waste of time sparking debate in Egypt. Uh, Mahyoun stated, quote, watching 22 men run after a ball is a waste of time. A Muslim should not t- spend his time over the, <laughs> the matters that distract people from worshiping God. He continued, people who spend hours watching football matches could use this time to do something righteous and beneficial, such as reading parts of the Holy Quran. Enemies of Islam use this game to distract people from our fellows in Palestine who are being killed every day. He also criticized footballers such as Cristiano uh, Cristiano Ronaldo for not being good role models to children, basically because he had children outside of marriage. Uh, Makyun is the former party president and chairperson of the Islamist and ultra-conservative Al-Nur party, which is loyal to current Egyptian president Abdul Fattah el-Sisi, who is notorious for ruling with an iron grip. So I loved this because I I just thought this was so funny. Like, football is a waste of time. You should be reading the Quran. But in America... Because I've heard this kind of thing before. It, it's a kind of, the criticism is a little bit different. This is how I thought his statement was going to go. I thought his statement was going to go, watching 22 men run after a ball is gay. <laughs> gay. Because <laughs> I feel like that's the kind of thing we hear in America, like especially with American football. Like, these men crouched over with their butts in front of each other's faces, like, playing with balls. People are like, I don't know, it's kind of (laughs) gay. That's not where he went with it. He went with, it's a waste of time. (laughs) But based on, okay, so based on what Islamic precedent or hadith is he, or Quranic verse is he getting this out of? Like, do, waste of time? Like... In, is entertainment on Islamic? This is he like. He did say, this... however, that sports for the sake of maintaining the glorious it... body that God gave you is totally fine. That's okay. You know, we want to maintain so... these temples that were gifted to us. Okay, got to take care of. Got to take care of your body. But besides that, it's a waste of time. <laughs> what about watching movies? Based on this standard, watching movies would be a waste of time. Watching TV series would be a waste of time. Like, does he think going to watch a movie a waste of time? Probably. What if you read? <laughs> what about reading poetry? Because this has watching soccer for people who enjoy it has entertainment value. He mm-hmm. thinks that spending time for your entertainment is a waste of time. You could have used that better for praying or communic or reading the Quran or whatever. Right? Would he say the same thing about poetry? I don't know, because maybe he wouldn't say that because with poetry, I mean, maybe unless you're spending hours on it. I think part of what his contention was is how much time people spend on football. Hours. No, because hours he, no, watching he's, men no, play with a ball. But his fatwa is not on the amount of time being wasted. His fatwa is specifically on football. It was partially about the amount of time. Then why is, okay, what is the fatwa? So watching well, part of his quote is that no. it's yeah, just a waste of time 22? and that people who spend hours watching football matches could use yeah, but, this time to okay. do something righteous. So okay, I got so that you don't understand the hours. Yes, yes, yes. But the fatwa is not saying what is haram is wasting a lot of time. The fatwa is specifically saying football, okay? So I'm just saying why football? This is This has entertainment value for some people. What if you spent 40 minutes reading poetry? Would that be haram, given that you're not praying, you're not reading the Quran or you're praying, okay? Because guess what? Muhammad read poetry. Muhammad read poetry. Was he wasting his time? That's an entertainment value for him. So I understand what, the, what is the difference. The brother Just asked because, a very good question. 
I mean, I don't find what <laughs> watching soccer entertaining. No, but that's just my t- that's just my taste. Mm-hmm. This person is like, I'm okay. So here's my point. He's this just a guy. Hater. Exactly. No, my point is that like that might be funny, but my that's my entire point. Like this is not the standard. I'm not just making fun of him. I'm just like pick. I'm being technical with this guy, right? This is not the way you issue fatwas. You don't issue fatwas based on your person. Like this is wrong, not because it's Islamic. This is wrong even by Islamic standards. You can't just issue fatwas based on what you don't like, right? You have to, when you do fatwa, you have an Islamic reason behind it. Like you come up with examples, you have like a hadith or a saying of, or, or like something, a sunnah, or like something that Muhammad You also did, look at precedent. Say, yeah, you look at other fatwas. You look at the Quran. You don't like. I I don't like football. Therefore, haram. Like I am being offended by this fatwa, not from oh this is Islam. Not it's therefore it's nonsense perspective. I'm being offended on behalf of Islam. Like I'm 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 putting my Muslim <laughs> I'm putting my Muslim hat on and I'm being offended because this is this seems to be like. This is t- turning the whole procedure of fatwa is turning it into a joke. Like he just oh like, God. oh, I don't like football, therefore it's it's her own. To be fair, there the were deal? other there were other. Um, this became a big talking point in Egypt, and there were people on other you know nightly talk shows that talked about this, and there were other religious scholars who were like, this man is full of crap. Like completely yeah. disagreed with him. I think other Muslims who conservative Muslims would think this is full of crap. Like guys, this yeah. like I'm I'm actually defending Islam here. This Islam is ridiculous, but not this ridiculous. You cannot just issue something haram just because you don't find it entertaining to yourself. Like what is like the justification? What is the Islamic? There is no Islamic justification for this. Well, I mean, Armin, I don't know if you want to defend the standards of fatwas too much because do you remember the fatwa that happened in Egypt? Also, I believe around 2005, that um you can work with men in the office if you breastfeed them you no that was islamic male. okay no no that was that makes sense okay <laughs> <laughs> not no the point okay that was more oh, sorry ridiculous. that made sense yeah no he Susanna, this is what i'm trying to make that was more ridiculous than this but it had an islamic justification okay so what Susanna is like actually that's a great example okay so what Susanna is referring to was this fatwa by this Islamic scholar in Egypt that if men and women want to work in the same office space together, right? Like because they have to be separate, the only way that men and women can work in the same working environment together is for the woman at the workplace to breastfeed the men, okay? So that they become halal to each other. And that's the only way that they could work with each other, right? But that makes Islamic sense, okay? We have hadith for that. We have precedent for that for why he would say something like that. I know that is more ridiculous than this football one, but it at least is based on Islamic hadith. This is based on nothing. <laughs> I'm still you see not that? over that. To this day, I'm still not over that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, wait, okay. D has some interesting additional context. Sheikh Abdul Moim al Shalhat also said in Egypt, quote, only three sports are allowed in Islam, javelin throwing, swimming, and horseback yes. riding. All other sports are forbidden. In 2012. Um, that you have, that you have, um, had these precedent, you know, for that, and D is correct, right? But that's not what this guy is saying. If this guy was saying football is wrong or soccer is wrong because these are the only three sports allowed in Islam, then we're like, okay, you're you're having an Islamic, uh, you have something in Islamic scripture that or tradition that could back this up, right? But this this guy is issuing a fatwa just because he finds this a waste of time. That's not how Islam works. I can't believe I have to tell a scholar, a Salafi leader, how Islam works. But yeah, go on. She is also saying a different religious scholar in Egypt said watching football matches is haram in 2014. So not the first time. 
Yeah, but, but haram based on what? Haram based on because it's not one of the sports that is allowed in Islam or based because because of by finding it a waste of time. You have to come up with the proper methodology with the proper reasoning that makes it Islamic. Unlike this idiot. I don't think this guy is a scholar. What is this? Is this like where is this what is this guy's credentials? I don't know. He is known as the Salafi leader, and then he was also the former party president and chairperson of the Islamist and ultra conservative Al Nur party. I don't know okay, what his so, actual like so background. Not, he does, okay, is. he doesn't have the credentials to issue fatwas anyway. Like, take the, you can't take these guys' fatwas seriously. He's a political leader. He can't, he can't just issue fatwas because you're a political leader. What? Which? Like, yeah, no. Which I don't actually yeah. know. Maybe he has a religious educational background. I'm not entirely sure. All right, we have some super chats that we need to read. Two, yeah, two yeah, yeah. Let's chats. go to that. Um. Uh, GJ gave us six euros. Thank you so much, GJ. And saying, off-topic bargain, are the Ask an Atheist Anything meetings going to stay in the middle of the night in UK in Western European time? I would like to partake there. Well, for now, maybe because we are, that's the time that me and Secularity have free. But that's why we have the Q&As uh, with Harris um and secular like if you want to do a q a at a different time you should also subscribe to the secular jihadist youtube channel because uh, we do another q a that might work well with your time better uh, on secular jihadists right so on atheist republic we have a q a that might not doesn't work very well with the european our european followers but on secular jihadist youtube channel we do another q a that works very well it's actually right before this show right before the atheist republic news on the secular judges we do a q a so you could try that one out. with harris sultan who's right here by the way harris sultan i do that with i do the q a with harris sultan and he says you like fatwas i'll give you a better fatwa than this next week okay guys go subscribe Ooh. to harris sultan he has an interesting fatwa showing now i'm this excited week. And here's another Fusion American just gave us five dollars. Thank you. Saying in Chinese paganism, the Yellow Emperor invented it after defeating Chi Yu and kicking around his inflated bladder. Story is disputed. Maybe it's pagan. <laughs> so yes, the real reason that he created the fatwa is because uh, it actually has Chinese pagan origins. And D is also saying, I found a bunch of old stuff with a religious Egyptian religious people bashing sports while researching this story. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was funny because like football is huge in Egypt. Like, yeah. My impression is that they take it very seriously. So I was like, this must have gotten a big reaction. Um, okay, we got another super chat. GJ is saying, shouldn't you flip those time slots then? Well, I can because secular rarity can't make it at any other time. Mm -hmm. So secular jihadist with Harris makes like I have to think about my co-host as well. Yeah. Um, all right. It's middle of the night for people living in North America. We can't expect yes. that of people who have a life outside of this. Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.